Good morning and happy Wednesday. I'm gonna close that because there's a load of mess out there. That is my stuff from Disneyland Paris that I still haven't sorted out. Um, I actually haven't vlogged the last couple of days. I got back from Disneyland Paris on Sunday and I've actually felt really awful the last few days. As usual, when I go on a Disney trip, I don't like to slow down i want to just you know do everything and we really went for it because we were only there for a few days and we did like twenty thousand steps the days that we were there each of the days we were there and um i just completely exhausted myself and i i just do it because i want to be able to feel as normal um i hate using that word but feel like i used to when i go around the disney parks i don't want it to slow me down and i always tend to overdo it so when i got back um for the next couple of days definitely um monday i was so achy i felt like i'd been hit by a bus the back of my knee was hurting and obviously the pain that i get in my body is never necessarily where you're feeling that pain because i've got nerve damage so it's really weird but basically i just felt like i'd been hit by a bus and I was exhausted. I was trying to edit on Monday and I was so sleepy. My eyes were just closing at my desk. I had to actually just take a nap, which I never do, but I was that tired. So I really did um, feel the effects of it. But we had a great time and um, hopefully the vlogs will be really good. I haven't got to them yet because they're going to be coming up after the Florida vlogs. So that is that. I'm feeling a lot better today. And um, I've just straightened my hair because <laughs> I washed it this morning and it's so out of control. I think my extensions are due to come out because the actual hair obviously doesn't last forever. Um, it only lasts a few months and it started getting so frizzy. I've just straightened it so it doesn't look like it now. And I'm aware that every time I talk about how frizzy and crazy it is when i go to edit the video it doesn't look that crazy so i'm just going to insert a clip of what it looked like before i straightened it so you guys know that i'm not inventing this mad hair this is what my hair looks like when i have dried it and not straightened it it is utterly ridiculous <laughs> and my natural hair like i've said before is dead straight it's like morticia adams style so this is all to do with my extensions basically it is absolutely ridiculous like i say it's just like a bird's nest it's frizzy uh yeah these are going to be coming out in a few weeks and i think it's just where they're coming to the end of their life <laughs> the extensions which you're supposed to have them for two to three months but yes as you can see this is pretty frizzy. So that is what I'm dealing with. I'm getting them taken out in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna try and wait then until May to get another set put in, just because it is expensive and I, it is annoying having them because when you wash your hair, it's just a big hassle. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just having a little break, although I do love them. Uh, and just it would just be easier to wash my hair. I can let it dry naturally and it won't be all poofy. So that is the hair situation, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad now. And I've got my new Holy Guacamole shirt on, which I love. It's just a PJ top from Primark, but it doesn't totally look like a PJ top, I don't think. I probably wouldn't wear it out and around, but it's nice just for wearing during the day. And I feel like I'm catching up on work stuff and editing and things because I was getting so stressed the last couple of days. I'm really behind on videos for my other channel, but I managed to get the Vegas vlog edited and editing those Vegas vlogs was so difficult to not have it be the same as the Vlogmas episodes because I was kind of filming bits specifically for Vlogmas, but then some days I didn't film much. And when I was editing it, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like this is exact same as the, the Vlogmas. But in the end, I managed to, I think, get other stuff in the vlog, but it just took a really long time, a lot longer than I expected. But I have got Saturday's Disney vlog done already, so that's really good. And I've got a fairly quiet week. I don't have um, a lot of things to do other than at home and um, editing and things and I'm not seeing many people this week so it's actually quite nice to just catch up and get some things done because it has been pretty crazy. So this evening Ian is out so I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff, um, unpack it all from Disneyland Paris and yeah just get myself organized. So it's much later on now and I just wanted to show you this gift that I had in the post. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's from Little Mist Designs and she sent me some really lovely things for my Florida trip which I've showed in the vlogs and um, she sent me this really lovely little makeup bag. I actually liked it on her Instagram because I just think the grey and the rose gold is absolutely beautiful and then just out of nowhere um, in the post she sent this to me. So thank you so 
so much. This was such a surprise. Really, really lovely. And I will link Little Miss Designs below because she's got some new um, Disney designs in the pipeline and some like t-shirts and other bits and bobs like this for Disney trips. Good afternoon and a happy Thursday. Yes, it's afternoon. This is the first time filming today and uh, it's because I've been filming, I've been editing. It's gone really cold in here all of a sudden. I don't know why. It's been pretty dodgy weather today, like raining on and off, but suddenly really cold. Yeah, I've been doing all of that and what else is holding me up this morning? I don't know. I didn't sleep very well last night. I didn't go to bed till very late. So I think I was just kind of a bit not with it this morning and a bit slower than normal i guess and um, we had a grocery delivery and stuff so it's been a very boring day but just getting stuff done and uh, we were discussing our plans for the weekend ian was going to be doing something on saturday where he needed to go to london but now um he is not doing that so i think we will probably go to a movie because we haven't done that in the longest time and we did get some vouchers for christmas for odeon so i think we're gonna go and see something i don't know what yet and tomorrow evening I think we will go out for dinner. There is a new barbecue place. I say barbecue, I guess it's kind of burgers and barbecue. And uh, it only just popped up recently and we were driving through town the other day and we were like, ooh, well, that looks good. And it does have really good reviews. So I think tomorrow evening we'll do that. Saturday we will go to a movie. And before we do that, there's just a few errands and stuff that I need to do, like sending back the curling iron that I got ripped off on that <laughs> was not real and um, a few other things so yeah that is our plans for the weekend and sunday who knows i probably need to do a bit more sorting out i've still got um bits and pieces in the suitcase from when we went to disneyland paris yes i know shocking still haven't done that yet and i've just been messaging becky to see when she's free to do our disneyland paris trip report where we're going to go over everything our thoughts on things and stuff so she's going to come over so we can film that at some point point. and ian's not going out this evening so we'll probably make something for dinner that takes a bit longer i always save those things for when he's not running out the door and going out or something so i might do something that involves mashed potato and vegetables and gravy because it's kind of cold and i feel like a wintry kind of meal so i think i will make something like that maybe i'll do a bit of a cook with me although i'm not the best at cooking so probably not in a good position to give advice to anyone about cooking but anyway i will see you guys in a bit later hello again it is a lot later i've been doing a vlogging fail again today and uh i didn't cook dinner we got takeout which is so bad i know that's so bad everybody can tell me that's bad but um i don't really know why we did we just did no excuse yeah it was just mm. one of those really and look who's here to say hi hey and um i was telling the guys earlier that you have changed your weekend plans so we're gonna go to the yes. movies and stuff I'm gonna try a new barbecue place in town. I think it's only just opened. I don't think it's been open very Yeah, long. I don't remember it being yeah. there before. That's exciting. Yeah, good. Do you love a bit of barbecue? Go to the movies. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, I'm tired today. Goodness me. I think I slept very well last night. No, I went to bed super late, which was not good. Oh, it's your fault. You must have woken me up. No, I didn't. Yeah, I bet you did. And we are about to watch The Good Place. I need to put my tripod away as well. <laughs> um, we watched this ages ago, and there's a third series that's come out, but we wanted to wait until all of them are out so that we can binge watch. Does anyone else do that? Like, you hold off watching something you mm. really want to watch just so that you can watch it all in one go. Well, we definitely do. So I've just been having my usual Erin Condren time and just planning the next couple of days in. I tend to do like two days at a time because if things change, then it's annoying and you have to keep altering it in there. But I think I'm gonna head to bed now because I keep yawning and feeling super tired. And again, I wanna make sure I'm getting enough sleep because I wasn't before. I went away to Florida, and then again over Christmas before I went away to Cape Verde. So I'm trying to be better at going to bed. Very uneventful day today, but that is just what happens sometimes. You just get some very boring ones. Good morning and happy Friday. I am at my desk, um, which I've just finished tidying up a bit because it was kind of messy. And I did a poll on here recently about which video you guys would rather see first. I'm gonna do both, but either a desk like organization tour i guess or um a plan with me in my erin condren and loads of you want to see the desk tour so i will do that uh, pretty soon probably off moment next week to go up the week after and i've slept so bad the last two nights <laughs> really really bad and um i feel okay because i'm one of those people who even if i've slept bad i can kind of get up and go fine 
Um, and I've been waking up really dehydrated and I've realized what the problem is. Normally, I obviously bought this water bottle ages ago and I was drinking like two full ones of these a day, but I've realized what's responsible for the problem it's this uh, you know i've had this new um, mug which keeps coffee hot for hours so what happens i make my coffee in the morning this is the coffee i made at like 9 a.m or whatever and it's still hot and it's now like midday <laughs> so actually i said good morning it's good afternoon anyway so i kind of sip the coffee for ages normally when i have a coffee in a mug i have to either drink it or it goes cold and then i would start drinking the water so because i have this i probably have like two of these a day and it stays hot the entire day so i'm picking that up and drinking it not the water so i've decided i will use the um coffee like this thing in the morning because when i'm doing my makeup and getting ready and all that kind of thing that's when coffee goes cold so i'll use it in the morning then if i have another coffee later on i will have to have it in a mug so that i will also drink the water so yeah i think that's what's my what's my hair doing today oh, i think that's what's been happening and um i really have felt quite dehydrated on waking up so and i was like i haven't drunk any water none whatsoever apart from to like take my tablets and stuff which is awful so that is what's up with that and this morning i am finishing um editing a vlog no it's not a vlog it is next week's video it's the disneyland paris haul so i just need to edit that and then i just have a few kind of tidying up things that i want to do i need to like i say get my desk a bit more organized ready for um doing the video i want to say organized i just mean tidied up really and also i've just got that situation again where i've got random stuff everywhere that i need to tidy up so that is the plan for today ian and i were going to go out for dinner this evening but the weather is horrendous it's like blowing a gale it's pouring with rain it's absolutely horrible and we don't really want to walk into town i mean it's not very far from here but still like it's just not pleasant so i'll cook tonight and then we'll probably go maybe monday evening because it's quite nice mondays are you know a bit dreary sometimes so it'd be quite nice to go out for dinner in the evening and then tomorrow i've got a couple of errands and we are going to the movies sunday will probably be i reckon just a chill day um likely a bit more tidying and stuff because sundays are the day when you get to do that sort of thing and you know housework and the, all that horrible stuff so yeah i'm going to get on with this editing <laughs> something crazy and ordered a new phone um o2 just kind of had this promotion i think i got an email and normally with o2 if your contract isn't finished yet mine's not up till june then you can upgrade but you have to pay like a certain amount and at the moment you don't have to pay anything or for the amount of time that i've got left i don't have to and also they had a promotion on one of the phones i was interested in where you can get money off the upfront cost so i currently have the iphone 6s plus and that one i can get a certain amount on trade-in plus then there was this hundred pounds off so anyway the bottom line is i've managed to get an iphone x which is really exciting and it's only going to cost me i think two pounds more per month so i figured why not this one's been doing something weird with the camera for a while like you go to use the camera and it'll just be black and the only way to like get it working again is to do a hard reset which is really annoying because then whatever you're taking a photo of has gone so yeah this one's fine like there's nothing majorly wrong with it but i figured if it's only going to cost me two pounds a month more why not so that is exciting it's going to come on monday and i've just ordered a couple of bits for it just um a temporary case until i find one i like but obviously i don't want it getting messed up so i've just bought a you know little basic one and um you also need an adapter to be able to plug regular headphones into the iphone x because it doesn't have the headphone jack so that's exciting um, but now i really need to get on with more work because stuff like that kind of you know you're looking at it for a while and then looking at reviews and you're like oh do i do this and then in a minute too much time has gone past and you've wasted some of your morning so or afternoon i should say so anyway let's get on with it later uh wow it's so dark i'm gonna have to put the light on that's better it is so dark it's like 2 p.m and it's like night time in this room it's just ugh, horrible miserable don't like it anyway i now have my coffee in a mug rather than in the um travel mug thing like i said i would so i drink more water and a little spoiler for the disneyland paris haul video mm, new mug 
Um, so you will see that when that goes up on Wednesday. And I'm feeling super motivated today. Like I was saying in the last vlog, I did have a few days when I got back from Disneyland Paris where I was just so ridiculously exhausted. And um, it kind of carried on a little bit, even though I got my motivation back. But now I am feeling really good. I've got a few ideas in the pipeline, which I need to really think about and do a bit of research, a bit of planning and stuff like that. So hopefully all will be revealed if that goes to plan and i did just take a little lunch break because that's another thing i need to do is take more structured breaks because otherwise i'll either work all day with no break or i'll procrastinate and just keep taking little breaks and then get nothing done and ian took his break at the same time and we watched an episode of the good place because we've got really back into that and um, but the problem is if you just watch one episode you always want to binge it so we probably shouldn't have because now i'm like oh what's gonna happen but we can watch the rest later because neither of us are going anywhere tonight anyway let's crack on with this editing because i still haven't finished this one video because i have been messing about ordering a new phone and who knows what else so let's get to it so it is now much later on it is 6 p.m and I'm about to start dinner. I've got some stuff going on here, bad pointing. And um, I'm going to be making, Ian is having a steak pie and I'm having like a cheese and leek plat thing, I think, like a Linda McCartney, I think. And I'm just doing some mash and vegetables with it. So that'd be really nice, like a nice wintry dinner. And I'm watching Netflix while I cook and I'm going to have to go back and finish what I was doing after we're done with dinner. I think Ian's got some more work to do as well. I've been working on some new artwork for my Disney in Detail channel. So for like the YouTube um, artwork and I also use that on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. And I haven't changed it since I've had the channel. I do like it as it is, but I just want to bring it more in line with this channel and the artwork I have for this. So I've just been playing around with it. I'm never sure what what to do whether it looks good i'm not very good at things like that i'm really not very creative so it takes me ages to do the simplest of things and then i spend a ton of time questioning it thinking it might be rubbish or whatever so anyway i'm gonna make this dinner take a break from it and then perhaps when i go back to it it will be kind of fresh looking at it with fresh eyes so let's cook forgot to show you the dinner I made. I showed you me making the dinner and then not the actual dinner but it was very nice and uh, we took a bit of a break to eat dinner. We watched some more Good Place. We didn't no, we did finish it. We finished the whole series because they're really short episodes. Uh, so yeah, we did that. And then I will admit I went back to doing my work that I was doing before and it's now 20 past 11 and I've only just finished which is really bad but when you do kind of work from home there will be times when you have kind of procrastinated or you've done something else or you've caught up with a friend or one of my friends comes around for a cup of coffee so there's plenty of times when I should be doing stuff during the day and I do something else. So on the odd occasion when this happens, it's not really a big deal. But I have finished my artwork. And the reason it's taken me this long is two things. One, I'm just not very good at stuff like this. And two, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And when you upload YouTube artwork, um, if you haven't got it quite right, um, like centered and stuff, it's I don't think you can zoom in zoom out and like move it around it has to be in the right place in the first place so i was like jigging it around moving it about to get it in the right place but like i was saying earlier i just want it to be more in line with my victoria in detail channel i just want them to be the same you may very well have seen it by now but as you can see it's very similar to the artwork for this channel um but it's just disney in detail instead so i didn't want it to be identical and i didn't want the colors to be the same exact same but yeah just so that if you land on either channel you know that they are both mine if that makes sense yeah so i ended up pretty pleased with it like i said i am no expert on stuff like this i'm not very artistic and creative when it comes to like Photoshop designing stuff, that's really not my area of expertise. But as anyone else will know who has a YouTube channel and social media and stuff like that, you have to figure it out for yourself. Um, I do watch a lot of tutorials and I do get some help um, here and there from people who can give me advice, but basically you are figuring it out for yourself. But that is part of the fun of it, I find. But anyway, I definitely need to finish doing this right now. And I'm probably going to just take a look at my planner 
um not necessarily to like look at work stuff although i might a little bit but just to get it up to date um i sync with ian's google calendar so that i can just look on there um, when he adds stuff in so then i can put his stuff into my planner so i always know what is going on and stuff like that because obviously if i then make a plan with somebody um for like for a thing for us to do together and then ian's busy and it's like then causes the whole thing so yes i will probably go and do that but that will be it for today uh tomorrow is disney vlog day so that's exciting so i will see you then Bye. good morning mm -hmm. happy sunday um ian's trying to rush me out the door but we're not actually I'm in a rush. rush you victoria <laughs> does this thing where i say you ready to go and she's like yeah and so then i go to open the door because i think it's time to go and it turns out it's not time to go no but we're not in a hurry so we are off to a movie we're going to see bohemian rhapsody mm. which i'm surprised is still on um, and we're in the recliner yeah it was only screen. on in this one screen at our local cinema but it says it's like recliners yeah so that's quite exciting i think kate did it recently and said it's mm. really good the only thing is it is we're falling fall asleep, asleep hazard yeah but i'm determined not to fall asleep in this movie it's quite early in the day it's only like 1 p.m that's so this before Ooh, should be okay and um, yeah so we're really looking forward to seeing it it does look amazing yeah. and after that i think we're just going to come back here i've got some cleaning to do mm, boring. boring sunday and i also have a little bit of edit not editing but like worky type things to do and then next week should be quite busy because becky's coming around to do some filming like a post um trip report thing for disneyland paris and I don't think you and I are filming anything, but you're helping me out with a few yeah. projects. I've mm. got a little project in the pipeline. Exciting things in the works. Yes, which is connected to my Disney in Detail channel. So watch this space if you mm. watch that channel as well. But anyway, let's get going. So we are super early for the movie. So we're getting a drive through Costa. Mm. Does anyone else use drive through coffee places? Because it's the best. Although I don't have my Costa coffee cup. I could have mm. taken it into the movie then. I'll be getting a nice blast mm. and popcorn. Haven't been to the movies for ages, so I've got to make the most of it. <laughs> I can hear the people like doing their order I behind know, that really super, loud. super loud. So we have our drive through Costa. We did get a sneaky brownie, which doesn't want to focus. This brownie from Costa is so good. I just don't even know what it is. It's so like fudgy mm. and oh my gosh, it's the best. If you haven't tried a Costa brownie, do it because this thing is incredible. So we're in here in the movie, haven't started yet. These seats are like full on recliners. So we just got out from the movie oh my gosh it was so good it was so good you'll probably see me going on about it in my instagram stories already <laughs> if you follow me on instagram but oh my goodness it was just so good he was um, who's the guy again i keep Rami forgetting his name. yeah yeah um his performance as freddie mercury was just it was incredible incredible like, yeah i used to watch uh, mr robot which yeah. i think is probably one of the first things he did that he got quite well known from yeah but it's not even just that he looks like Freddie Mercury, which he does. They've done oh, a really yeah. good job of making him look like Freddie. But all the mannerisms and like just, I don't know, just, just performing everything about him. It was like watching archive footage of Freddie Mercury. Like it was incredible. So good, yeah. And I just said to you, didn't I? You know that like an actor's performance is like really awesome when like we all know the story of freddie mercury and yeah. we know about his life and what queen did and everything else and live aid and so there's nothing in that movie that's like new information that we don't already know but it was just it was captivating it was amazing yeah it was incredible like the bit at the end where obviously they're doing the live aid concert for one thing i went to see oasis at the old wembley stadium so i had like a total flashback moment which was amazing <laughs> that was in 2000 <laughs> Oasis are good, they're not quite Queen though. No. But anyway, just, just seeing Wembley Stadium mm. was just like, oh my god, that's so cool. And also, um, I was just like constantly getting chills the entire way through that end part. It was just so good, so yeah. good. So I think maybe we should listen to Bohemian Rhapsody on the way home. We could do that. Just saying. And we listen to that in the car all the time prior to watching this film whenever we're driving to ian's parents or anywhere else my parents we always listen to bohemian rhapsody you know what, it really reminded me of how many queen songs i love me like, too we should yeah. definitely like listen to more of their songs yeah in the car. i want the whole album very well spent sunday but now we are going to go home and get on with some Boring less things. exciting <laughs> things maybe we will watch um the real live aid concert on youtube yeah. if it's on there that'd be cool that would be cool hey guys so it's now a lot later 10 to 10 and we have had dinner we had pizza total fail i don't even know what to say about that but we just 
felt like it so we had it and while we we're eating we did look up live aid on youtube so we could see like the real performance by queen versus the one we saw in the movie and it was so good so we did that and i'm doing something i never do at home i am having a glass of wine and um i literally never drink at home unless like friends were coming over or something i really just never do but the reason i'm having some wine i wanted to finish this um bottle um, and use it up because this is the one Jenny bought me for Christmas. I don't know if you remember it from the what I got for Christmas haul. So you finish the wine, you put the lights in. Hang on, let me show you this a better way. So once the bottle is empty and you've washed it out, you put the cork in the top and this obviously has the fairy lights. You can see them inside. So yeah, you twist this and look how cool this is. It looks so nice. So I wanted to um, drink the wine so that we could try this out and I love it. So thank you, Jenny. This is really cute. I will try and link the um, cork light thing below if I can find it because obviously you can just use this on plain bottles if you wanted to. It just makes a nice kind of little decoration around your house. But yeah, she's got one of the, um, I think it's called a cricket machine and she made this for me and I just love it. I know it's like Christmassy themed, but I will probably put this maybe on top of my desk or something. I just love fairy lights. If there's ever an opportunity to put fairy lights up, I am all about it. Oh, and you can also recharge the lights via USB, I think. So this is so cool. So I think I'm going to finish this glass of wine, probably then have a cup of tea. And I'm just watching a Zoella video. She's just uploaded a vlog for the first time in a while. I feel like I haven't seen her stuff for ages. She did Vlogmas, but yeah, I'm just watching that. And while I'm doing that, I'll probably just do a tiny bit of editing. And then that will be it for the day. Good morning and happy Monday. Um, makeup is done, hair is kind of not. And I'm including Monday in today. It's kind of a weird one. My weekly vlogs have gone a bit off, um, not schedule, but where it used to be like Monday to Sunday and then the vlog would go up on the Monday and all those days would be included. Now, sometimes it starts on a Thursday, it starts on a Tuesday. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, <laughs> this Monday is included in this vlog and it will be going up later today. And we're having quite an exciting morning around here because the iPhone has just arrived. So Ian is here to help me film the reveal. Oh dear, the other phone is doing all kinds yeah. of stuff. Someone is very excited. Yes, I'm very excited. I just put up on my Instagram stories. So I was like, it's here. This won't be in an iPhone box. It's gonna be in like a playing box because O2 have this thing where you can get like new or you can get brand new iPhone. The like new one comes in not the traditional Apple box. It's just in like an O2 box. But there's three different tiers. There's perfect, which is what I ordered. Then there's something like good, I think. And then the third one is called something else and it basically means that the lower level ones might have a few little dings on them and things on the screen whereas the perfect one should be exactly as new but it just doesn't come with the stuff you would normally get in the box but that's fine there he so is there he is here he is so he's smaller than the iphone 6 plus however the screen is actually the same size so I've got the benefit of having the smaller phone, but still the big screen, because that's why I got this one. Um, but the camera is meant to be amazing. So I'll obviously fire it up and show you later, but yay. <laughs> it doesn't come with the little pokey thing to put the SIM card in. So we're using a Disney pin. We're using Sadness. She's helping us out. So we've just gone to start setting this one up. And it said, if you have an iPhone or iPad running, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. So I just brought this guy next to it and it says set up. So, so I guess it's going to like transfer all of your existing settings. So now we're setting up the face ID because this one, it doesn't have a home button. So it's all done via face ID. First position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show when it's a circle. To show all the size of your face. So like tilt around like. Oh, like do you want it? Yeah, I think so. Oh my, you have to do a workout. To get this done. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's crazy. <laughs> so it's literally like tracking your face as it goes around. It's got these blue lines so you can see 
where parts of your face are. That's really cool. That's cool. <laughs> so anyway, I've now sorted out my hair because I need to pop to the post office to post back the curling iron. I've been meaning to do it for ages and I don't want to leave it too long and then have a problem. It's, um, I've explained all about it. It was the curling iron I bought from eBay, which turned out to be a fake not happy anyway i've spent a lot of the morning playing with my new phone playing being the operative word because the main thing i've been doing is um, messing around with the front facing camera because it is better than the one i had before and in doing so i discovered things like this which is in no way productive and i'm sure you've already suffered enough of those on my instagram stories by now but i fear i may never appear in the normal way on my instagram stories ever again because there are tons of those filters and <laughs> they're awesome but anyway i'm going to go to the post office and um, we need to go to the range this evening um because we need a few things and i want to get enough work done before that um i think ian is cooking a curry tonight which i don't like so he will just make that for himself so at least i don't have to worry about what I'm gonna do for dinner because I will probably just have a jacket potato or something because that is how I roll when it's just me for dinner. And yeah, so the day is not very productive so far for a Monday, but I will finish this vlog this afternoon and add it to the rest that I've already edited and get that up. And then I have another video to work on, which is gonna take a while, so I can't decide whether to do that one first or whether to do Saturday's Disney vlog. I should probably do Saturday's Disney vlog first uh, because yeah, I just need to make sure that that is definitely done. Anyway, let's get to the post office. I've just realized I completely forgot to show you guys this that got delivered, I think it was on Saturday. I was watching someone's video. I can't remember who it is now. It might have been Catherine. Um, anyway, they, um, I'm sure it was her. She was talking about memory cards and she'd ordered um, a really cheap memory card from Amazon. So I went on and had a look and they currently had the 128, oops, upside down, 128 gig memory cards. Does not want to focus. And uh, it was 17.99. I think she might have got hers for 15.99. But anyway, it was 17.99, which is so crazy cheap. Normally the 64 gig are like 25 or 30 pounds. So this was amazing. So I picked one of those up. They changed the packaging. It just comes in like this envelope -y thing. Uh, so anyway, that was a real bargain. And I also got this for my May trip. I know it's a little bit early, but I spotted it and it was a good price. It's made by Easyac, which is the same brand as the power bank that I use for charging my phone around the parks. And it is this fan, which is amazing. So it's got three different settings. Um, you guys obviously can't feel it, but it is so good. It honestly feels like a desk fan. It's really, really strong. And I'm sure I paid 11.99, so I will link it below. I'll link the memory card as well um, but I thought this would be perfect for me because I did get really really hot when I went to Disney World last May and um, with my TM you do that is one of the side effects you do just get a lot hotter than you used to and my paper fan just sort of wasn't cutting it um, in that temperature so that thing is going to be amazing and it's got rechargeable battery so it's perfect. As you can see, I've moved location. My desk chair, after a while, it does hurt my back. And for some reason last night, I was really struggling with um, like sleeping. I didn't sleep good. And when I woke up, my back was hurting. So anyway, I have come to sit in my comfortable chair to finish off my editing. I'm about to edit this video. So I'm literally gonna be filming this and then it'll be going straight up today. And Ian and I, I think are going to wait a little bit until we go to the range. Um, just traffic at the sort of rush hour when people are going home from work and stuff is no fun so we'll probably wait till a little bit later and i don't know what i'm gonna have for dinner like i said ian's cooking himself a curry i think but i had my leftover pizza at lunch and i couldn't even eat all of it so i had a bit and then had a bit later so i'm just not hungry and i don't know when i'm going to be so who knows like i said i was gonna have a jacket potato but they're pretty filling as well we will see what happens. So I think that's going to be it for the vlog. I'm going to end it here and then start again for the following week tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It was very much a home vlog. I feel like I didn't do much at all in this last week. Uh, but you know there you go that is how some weeks are and uh, if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any upcoming videos I have lots of stuff coming your way and I will see you all in the next one I promise I'll have more laundry for you in the next one I feel like you didn't get much laundry this week and I know how much you like looking at it <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one bye